Go ahead and open the door, bro. Open the door. You got it? Say what up to the people, them, say, Kim. What up to the people, them, <laughs> What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Say, let me shoot my video. Shh. As you can see outside, it's it's allergy season, and my allergies is horrible. And yesterday was just crazy. But I do. I figured I was gonna hit y'all with like a nice little story today, a little entertaining thing, bro. On the side, I be doing Uber, and like I'm not gonna lie, doing Uber out here, the amount of people you come across and the amount of interesting events you come across is is crazy and I, lately I've been like thinking about some of my rides and I'm like yo was I supposed to do something different during that ride so one of them rides right I had picked this young lady up she was gorgeous but she had she was hood bro she had like tattoos on her face tattoos on her neck like she was just straight up hood and like we got in the car well when she got in the car the first thing she asked me was like hey do you have a girlfriend and you know i'm not gonna lie son i've had some shaky rides with uber where i had to you know yeah i'm married you feel me so i thought that was gonna be one of them type of situations so i was like yeah i'm i'm married and she's like oh that's perfect i i gotta i gotta like question for you or whatever so she begins to tell me how her um she used to be married and her husband cheated on her and when he cheated on her he had a baby with the girl he cheated on her with and you know they separated or whatever so they've been separated for like a year and a half or whatever and she started dating this new guy but she recently started seeing her husband again right so her her husband separated. She got her, like a new boyfriend, but she been cheating on her new boyfriend with her estranged husband. So she is like, I'm trying to figure out if I should take my husband back or if I should just, you know, stick with the new guy. And you know me or my my doctor Phil, I get to asking certain questions. So I'm like, you know, do you how many times has your husband cheated on you is that like your first time she's like nah he cheated on me multiple times like it's just that this time he ended up having a baby with the girl and I was like damn that's kind of a deal breaker you know and I was like so how you feel about the new guy and then she got to telling me that she the new guy is cool but she feel as though he a little too clingy you know and I'm like, well, what you mean he a little too clingy? She's like, you, I'm all about, you know, when we together, we, we together, we chilling. But, like, she said, when we together, he be trying to, like, be all up under me. And I'm not, I'm not with all of that soft shit. Like, you know, we together, you stay on your side of the bed. I stay on my side of the bed. Just don't, you know. So, I'm like, so that's you. Like, you just, you just thugged out like that all the time. She got, she laughed a little bit. She's like, I mean, yeah, a little bit. So I was like, you don't think that might have contributed to why your husband cheated on you? She like, what you mean? I'm like, you know, that's a whole bunch of masculine ass energy. You know what I'm saying? Like, that sound like some masculine ass shit. It don't, it don't sound like you be, you know, you be, be uh, nurturing. I ain't gonna say nurturing, but it don't sound like you be like sensitive to a nigga needs type shit. Like, you know, when dudes be out here in the world, bro, we gotta be tough all the damn time. Ain't no point of being tough in the world and then you got to come back in your house and be tough too, man. That shit's stressful. She like, oh, I never I never really looked at it like that. I'm like, yeah, so that's probably why the side bitch was winning. She was probably, you out here being all tough with your husband and then he go to the side chick and she, hey, baby, you, you okay? You want some food? You, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't going to lie. Niggas, niggas like that type of shit. You feel me? And she's like, yeah, that make that makes some type of sense. That makes sense. I ain't gonna I ain't even think about it like that. That makes sense. So then So then uh fuck you looking at nigga. So then um Huh? You good. Ah right, so yeah. Can I get out? Not yet, Sakim. So 
we got to talking about this shit, and she was like, well, I don't know what to do. I'm thinking of um, going and telling the my new boyfriend. I'm thinking of going and telling him that I'm actually, like, sleeping with my my husband again. And, you know, I just want to tell him the truth. So I'm like, um, well, I ain't going to really get into that. That's that's your choice. If that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do, right? So we end up getting to the destination. And the destination was like, a, I don't know if it was a hotel. It looked like a hotel, bro, like a little motel type of situation. So. And we still talking, and I'm still giving her advice on how to really handle that type of situation. I was like, well, you know, just think about it. You know, with the new guy, maybe that's what you need. Maybe you need somebody to help you, you know, tap into that soft, that soft side. That, you know, bring out your feminine energy a little bit more. So we get to talking. And while we talking, it's a dude walking in front of the car. Right? And he looking inside the car and he looking at his phone. He looking inside the car. He looking at the phone. Then I was, I was like, yo, you know this nigga? She's like, yeah, that's the new guy. Before I could even respond, bro, this man opens my car door and, and like, yeah, all right, come on, get out. Gets, takes her out the car. She's like, hey, you see what I'm saying? And then she leaves. And I'm like, damn, this, he he on it. Like, he got it bad, son. I don't know if folks saw me as a threat. But we just having a a, a regular-ass conversation, bro. I don't, You know what I mean? Like, So anyway, I dropped off. I, I do like three or four more trips, right? And then I get a call on my phone. And it's like the Uber number. And when I say it's the Uber number, it's like basically when you, when you, um, when you, uh, when you do Uber, there's a number that people can call just in case like they lost their shit. So if they lost their stuff, they call the number and it comes to your phone. So I answered the phone and the dude was like, hey, bro, um, yeah, yo, you you remember dropping this chick off? She got, like, tattoos. You know, she light-skinned or whatever. You remember, like, picking up at the hotel and dropping her back to the house? I'm like, I, I don't know what you're talking about. He like, bro, listen, like, I send you cash app, bro. I just want to know, like, exactly, like, where she went type shit. Because, you know, I'm like, yo, you got to describe this chick again. He's like, yo, she light skin. She she got like tattoos. She got tattoos on her neck. She got tattoos on her face. Then he said her hair color, and I was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. I know who you're talking about. So he's like, yeah, you remember where you dropped her off at? I'm like, I dropped her to the hotel or the motel or whatever it was. And he's like, nah, nah, you picked up at the hotel and dropped her off to the house. I'm like, nah, bro. I dropped her to the hotel. He's like, yo, look, it said that the, the, the ride got canceled like midway. So I'm trying to figure out like what's going on because do you remember like, I'm like, nigga, I dropped her off to the house. I mean, I dropped her off to the hotel. He was like, all right, all right. He's like, bro, you know, I, I got the, listen, bro, I'll cash app you, bro. You could just, you could just keep it a hundred with me, bro. I'll cash app you. I'm like, nah, bro, I'm, I'm good, bro. And I just hung up. So I got to thinking. I'm like, son, what the fuck going on? Like, I got to thinking about that story and shit like that. And I'm like, yo, it might be some holes in that story. It might be some holes in that story, bro. Like, she might not be telling me the whole truth. Like, maybe she married for real, for real. And her, her husband is, like, good. And, like, the dude that she met at that hotel, that might be, like, the side dude, bro. Because... That whole situation just didn't make any sense to me. You feel me? But yeah, son. And these Uber streets, man, the stories be crazy. Because to me, it felt like, damn, bro, did I help this bitch cheat? <laughs> did I help her cheat on her dude? <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, man, that's a Saturday story, folks. I'm I'm at Waffle House right now. I don't even know if y'all can see. Yeah, hold on. I got to turn this shit down. Yeah, I'm at Waffle House right now, bro. I'm finna get some breakfast for me and my young man. For me and my young boy, huh? Me and my young boy. All right, bro. Let's go. <laughs> go sit down, big guy. You good? Yeah.
You good? Mm-hmm. That's good. All right, so we got our food, right? We got our food. But I forgot to add this part of the story. So the way I was feeling, right, I feel as though, and God forbid, I hope this isn't true, I feel as though, like, folk might have did something to Shorty because she might have came out and told him, sir, you need water. You need water to do that. Don't do it. Just eat your food. So she might have came out and told him the truth, and he might have did something, and he was trying to cover it up. You feel me? Like, like pin it on the Uber driver type of situation. I don't know, bro. You know, my mom be going every which way, bro. I do not trust people. And that's not far-fetched. Maybe I don't watch too many mur- murder mysteries and shit like that. But that was my train of thought when he called me. He was like, yo, he might have did something to her. And, like, he tried to make it seem like the last time he seen her was when he put her in the Uber. So I made sure I denied that. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I dropped off at the hotel. I ain't dropped off at no nobody house. You feel me? I forgot to add that in the video. But as you can see, man, we finna kill this Waffle House. You like your waffles? Mm-hmm. All right, say bye for real now. Bye. All right.